and we'll get set to try this again. Bobby Hamilton Jr. only made his way back up to 14th so far. Remember, he pitted earlier because they were going to be short on fuel, wanted to play it conservatively. Martin Truex Jr., the championship leaders in 18th. Oh, no! Oh, no! Pass on the restart. Jason Keller and Kyle Busch, the fourth and fifth place cars. Easy, guys, easy. That is unbelievable. And, and here's for the lead. The caution flag caution is out. Caution is out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I mean, Jason Keller had was so Such a good. good. Run. Yep. And Kyle Busch was going to gain some points on Truex Jr. in the chase for the NASCAR Busch Series Championship. And Kyle was trying to anticipate the start and did. got it wrong. Hmm. I hated that. Well, I wasn't kidding earlier when I said don't go away because you never know what might happen. No, we, we weren't. Yeah. So the caution comes out now for the 10th time. Damage to the nose of the five. I'm pretty sure Jason gassed it too to make sure he got oh, a piece of uh, Kyle when he was going by. <laughs> oh, that's just too bad. We'll see. That's all it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, now, Jeff. let me ask you this. If we see that same look again, you watch, see if Jason didn't have to jump on the brakes to keep from running over the double zero in front of him. He might have. Like the line bottled up in front, the leader maybe, you know. All right, well, let's take a look at the car in front of Jason. Well, maybe not. They were kind of rolling. Yeah, it looks like all three of those cars were rolling about the same speed. Okay. Now, this may be a good shot. Oh, I love this shot. See, look at yeah, the accordion. Yeah, yeah, they did accordion a little bit. Jason jabbed the brakes a little bit, and Kyle did. Yeah. This will be a good look. <laughs> oh, yeah. It gets better and better. Green flag, green flag. It looks different from there. Yeah. The end result come is the on, same. Come on, come on, come on. It's really ugly from here. Green flag, green flag. Check it up in front of you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No caution, no caution. Get it coming. a black flag being shown to Kyle Busch for aggressive driving. 22 on the left. Well, you know, on board with Jason Keller, the engine never changed pitches. He didn't go accelerating and then back off. Right, right, exactly. So Jason Keller's crew goes to work. Probably Kyle Busch's crew goes to arguing. <laughs> and we'll go to commercial and come back to New Hampshire in a minute begun, Dave. Well, and obviously not festivities in a victory sense for Kyle Busch, but Kyle, how do you feel about the way uh, you were penalized for what happened out there? Not a word from him. Keeping his uh, mouth shut right now, guys. Uh, he'll think about it, I'm sure, and have a word for us at some point. That would be a no comment. <laughs> This is what happened when Kyle got out of his car. They parked all the Bush Series cars on the pit road, and the crews and the drivers were all in close proximity, and it uh, it got tense. And there's Kyle exiting his car and being chased. <laughs> and really and truly, that's probably the best thing he could do. What happened on a restart? We see the five car get in the back of Jason Keller and knock Keller into the wall. And earlier in the race, the five car got in the back of the 66 car yes. of uh, Jamie McMurray and was a wreck. For that incident there, NASCAR penalized the five car for aggressive driving, and he finishes a race one lap down. Right, the first deal they figured was just a racing incident, but that one they felt could have been avoided. Well, Marty, Kyle Busch had no comment for me. Let's see uh, if Jason Keller does. Obviously, you got the bad end of that deal. Well, I really did. Uh, Miller High Life Ford was really running good, and uh, trying to save fuel. I'm not a real good uh, fueled racer, but uh, saving fuel, and uh, I hadn't gone yet. I mean, uh, someone, one of his guys said I brake check, or somebody brake checked it from, but that's totally wrong, because I hadn't even gone. When I went, my rear tires were off the ground spinning, so uh, it's unfortunate, but... Uh, 
you know, I can, uh, I can cry about it or I can go to Pikes Peak and try to win the race. And that's what we're going to do. And you tried to get a word from Kyle. Well, I'm, I will get a word from him and talk to him and, uh, and, and tell him what I think. But uh, out here on Pit Road is not the place to do it. Very good, Matt.